All right, guys, we are back with some more Monster Energy Supercross 6. Today, we have all 17 official Supercross tracks to show you. Yes, there are more tracks in the game. The Supercross Park has multiple tracks. We showed you most of them. And then Milestone, I think, made two or three weird tracks for the, the Futures races like they have done in the past. I didn't show you those because we're probably going to do a big career playthrough when the game comes out since I was able to played early but um these would be the 17 official supercross tracks and i don't know how much you guys care about it usually when a new motocross game comes out obviously i want to know what the physics are like but i also want to know about the tracks so we check out the tracks here and for the most part i felt like they did a really good job i do go in order from uh, a1 the beginning to salt lake city the end and they should be in order in the game. So I don't remember every single track, which one's which, but um, some of them I do, and then I have a few comments about how some of the tracks are are different, and then why some of them are my favorite and why some of them aren't really. A1 was okay, the scaling was okay, but it wasn't amazing. This is Oakland. Oakland is one of my favorite tracks because I felt like the scaling was pretty good, the, the rhythms were built really good, the spacing, I mean that all goes with scaling, but because it has a bunch of inside berms, and I know I didn't really take the inside berms at all, actually, and the reason I didn't is because this was very early in the gameplay I was able to capture before I didn't have access to the game. I don't have access to the game, so this gameplay was recorded quite a while ago. I've been putting videos together as I need them for the channel, and this was just the order I wanted to do it in. So if you saw the two-stroke video, you saw us take a bunch of inside lines around this track. Way faster, way more fun, way more satisfying. But early on, I was still trying to get used to the game. I mean, I know it's similar. I know it's similar. I'm not saying this game is way different way way better but I do feel like it is there were some decent adjustments to the game to make it more fun and better to play than Supercross 4 and 5 but obviously yes I do agree with you guys Supercross 3 4 5 and now 6 have been very 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 similar but in my opinion this one is more fun and better than Supercross 5 I'm not sure what track we're at right now, um, but this one was pretty fun too. Most of the tracks have multiple different ways you can go through them, and both lines feel pretty fast. I mean, you can take the outside and rail the corner in third and hit the big line, or you can downshift, take the corner in second from the inside, and then upshift through the rhythm section and take basically the same line or the alternate line that feels pretty fast i mean there are a few tracks that really don't have any line choice i think arlington and st louis are two prime examples of it this is a two i believe and one thing i do want to mention is or no it wouldn't be a two never mind i'm gonna save that for a three i believe it was a three but a two was a pretty good track i mean from the track map from what we made the rhythm section before the whoops that was supposed to be a triple but they ended up moving the triple back before the the finish line so i do remember this track and it is pretty fun i think this is the track that the scaling it was good for most of the track but there are a few places where it is pretty easy to over jump these two rhythm sections here it was really 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 easy to over jump the triples but it didn't really feel like you could quad that easy i'm not saying you can't i'm sure there's plenty of very good players out there that can drop down a quad but for me it was it would have been really difficult maybe impossible so um some rhythm sections i mean those rhythm sections were really good having to scrub or have some throttle control is a good thing and these rhythm sections definitely encourage that but I wish I could have hit some of the inside lines for you more. It's just more satisfying. Maybe it isn't satisfying to watch. It looks very similar to taking the outside. But it is very satisfying to do in the game. Now this would be Glendale. Glendale is one of my favorite tracks. Really, really fun to play. Not super difficult, but it's one of those tracks that... It isn't... It isn't hard, but it isn't super easy. But it's a track that you can do like the same lines over and over and over again and just burn off you know a bunch of laps at a time and 
it's really satisfying. The biggest problem I have with Glendale, and I'm hoping they're aware of it, is behind the start gate where the over under bridge is, it's very, 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 very dark there. I know it was dark during the real life race. I'm pretty sure this is the race that Vince Freezy, you know, KO'd Christian Craig in the sand behind the start gate. But there was lighting back there. And it isn't that bad now because I free rode these tracks and I did this one during the day. So it doesn't appear to be that bad, but it still is really dark. Um, but during a race, I mean, it is too dark. It is too dark. You can sit there and tell me it was dark during the race, but I do remember this race um, quite well. And it, the lighting is just non-existent back there. There is some other tracks that have that problem, but Glendale, really fun track. They just have to fix some of the, the lighting issues it has. Now this would be a three. Okay, so check out these whoops. This is something I kind of wanted to talk about. These whoops in real life were wicked difficult. Do you remember that the 250 class was like everybody was going down in the whoop section? Even Tomac said that those whoops were really, really treacherous at night. And in this game, they're just so easy. Every whoop section in the game basically feels the same. And I wish they could make them more unique, more difficult. I mean, some are going to be easy, some are going to be more difficult. These whoops on A3 should be really tough to take, and they just aren't. They feel just as easy as any other set of whoops in the game. So, um, I wish that was something they could do. I feel like Legends does a little bit better job of that. Most of the whoops in that game feel pretty much the same, but it's more difficult. You have to have a very specific technique to get through them, kind of. And I know they might be easy for you, but in multiplayer, I've seen many, many players crash going through them. So um, I wish they could do that. I mean, maybe this is Minneapolis, I think. Maybe those whoops were a bit easier, a bit smaller, but they're still pretty much the same. I mean, it's just third, fourth gear, lean back, and you should be good. So it's a bit disappointing, but Minneapolis here, this track was actually pretty tough. You will see, we have to hit this triple or this step on, step off just about right and hit this quad. It was actually kind of tough to get. I know we hit it just about right there, but most of the time I was clipping my back tire or even casing into it to hit that thing. And then there's a section here before we jump back to the start straight. This is really tough. This was the best way I could hit it was jumping off, doubling, and then quadding back onto the start straight. That section was uber tough. And I would say that this is probably one of the more simple, easy designs that they had that year. But yeah, that section was really difficult. And then this would be Arlington. And I remember making this track and saying that this was a really boring design. And I still maintain that in the game. This track is good. It's fine. But it is kind of a boring track. There really isn't too many different ways you can take the rhythm sections. And it just, I don't know. It doesn't have anything on it that I felt like is really fun to do in the game but as far as a race goes yeah this was a great race this was the race i think anderson took out uh, malcolm stewart in the corner going underneath him and then i'm also i think this was a triple crown right i think jet cross jumped into forkner here right over the finish line i think it was this race so the race was great but the track same as I felt about the track design, it is just kind of a really simple one line kind of track, but it's okay. I mean, as far as design and scaling goes, it's okay. This would be Daytona. Daytona was actually done pretty well this year. I enjoy it for the most part, and it doesn't have too many places where you can have a really big, dumb video game line. You know, um, Daytona last year in Supercross 5, we had the bridge, the over under. And you could just like fifth gear full send that thing into the offset jumps. And it was just really, it was really dumb. I hate how that works in these games. But this year, the way the design of the track is, it doesn't really have a part like that. I mean, yeah, you can full send what we just did back there a little bit. And then there is the bridge and you can over jump it to some degree. But it isn't as dumb as it was in Supercross 5, it is a lot better. So as far as the track goes, the scaling, how fun it is to play this track, I do enjoy it for the most part. So Daytona was done pretty well. I know when I say this, I'm talking about how fun it is in the game. If you're going to sit there and say, well, they missed this. This wasn't accurate. This is all messed up. 
I, I won't disagree with you. You're probably right, but I'm talking from the point of view of was it fun in the game? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, was it fun in the game? And how does the scaling feel? The tracks were really done well this year. I do have one more point I want to talk about when we get to the track, and there are a couple of tracks that way. I don't remember this track. Um, a lot of tracks, you'll see this one and then Indy when it comes up. There's a bunch of spots on the track where you can quad, like over a step-on, step-off table. And it feels like that's the way they want you to do it. I don't remember how often. I know they were doing a bunch of quads last year and even this year in 2023. But um, in this game, there's a bunch of quads they definitely want you to do. Here's going to be one of them. So you can double in. This was actually kind of tough to double in. Double in, triple, quad, triple. There is a different way through that rhythm section. Like I said, the, most of the rhythm sections have multiple different ways you can take them. And then this would be Indy. So we have two here. We have a quad over the step on, step off. I don't remember if that's how they did it in real life. I don't remember Indy. I don't know why. I just can't remember this track from, from real life. So we have that one. And then after the, the whoop section, we have another one. So there is a bunch of those. And then, like I said, the alternate line, you would pretty much step on, step off or, or whatever, or double if you take the inside. This line would be a bit different. And then you can take the inside line here, but it was tough for me to to get this double. I'm not saying you can't. It was just easier to take the outside and then a really easy triple triple. And then we hit the finish line and finish up Indy. So how many tracks we got? We got one, two, three, four. Actually, we got quite a few tracks left. I'm not sure what comes up next. It might be Denver. No, Seattle. So you've seen this track. This is a really easy track. Um, Seattle, St. Louis, and Arlington, I would say, are two of my least favorite tracks just because of how one line and really... Not because they're easy, because there are easy tracks that I do enjoy. I feel like Oakland is a pretty easy track, but I love it. Glendale is a pretty easy track, but I love it. The way they designed it, the way the inside berms and lines work to hit the rhythm sections it's just those are really fun tracks to to play these are fun too but they're very very easy very very one line and there isn't too many different things you can do on them i i appreciate the tracks that they made where if you take the outside or the inside the line kind of changes i guess and so this would be st louis this was the other track i was talking about that is pretty one line um it just doesn't really feel like there is too many ways you can take it now maybe you could triple in off of the first turn i didn't really try but looking at it now you probably could i'm saying there probably is some really good players that can definitely do it and go for some of those huge lines that you know sometimes we do a big lines video i probably won't do that one this year though because i just feel like the supercross has been changing the way they made this game they made it they scaled it really well to where if you go for the big line it's it's kind of realistic you know you don't have to do something really dumb in the game to to get one of those very huge monster lines or whatever it's just harder to do it in the game and i felt like it's been that way since like i mean supercross 4 you kind of could i guess still but supercross 4 5 and now 6 kind of feel that way but here is Atlanta Motor Speedway. You have seen this track, or at least some of this track. Pretty well done. I mean, I'm not saying it's perfect to the way it was in real life, but pretty well done from the view of it was fun to play in the game. And it was not too difficult. I feel like the balance between the tracks is some are kind of tough, but there isn't any track that... I didn't have any track, usually I do, that was mega, mega annoying to play. Or... Any track that I felt like they just did a really not good job on. For example, San Diego, I think, in Supercross 1. That was like, hands down, probably the worst ever replica track that they ever did for a Supercross game. That was just a terrible, awful track. And I feel like they haven't really done that in this year's game. Sure, some of them aren't perfect. I already saw somebody comment. I don't know if it was Detroit or what track it was. Somebody said that they, they did the... The first turn or whatever or turn somewhere in that on that track they didn't do it right it should have been a raised corner yeah i'm sure there's stuff like that but you know again 
how was it to play in the game? How did the scaling feel? You know, was it fun? Yeah, it was, and I don't feel like they really messed that up this year. Now, this would be Foxboro. This track is a bit unique, and I want to talk about it a little bit. I already have in a different video, but this track feels very narrow, and the jumps feel very, very small. Now, you do have some really fun rhythms, and this is one of my favorite tracks. It's really, really fun to play, but the jumps are very small, and they're very rolled off. So if you mess up a rhythm section, you can kind of just do the big whoops, you know, where... I wouldn't say it's faster than hitting the rhythm section the way you should, but you can. And there are a couple tracks that are that way. I would say Foxboro here is probably the worst one for that. But if you hit it the right way, it's really, really fun. The track is fun. I like the scaling. It's different, and it feels very narrow. I don't remember this race very good. I, I just don't remember it really whatsoever, but I mean, it was fun. This would be Denver. Very easy track, but pretty pretty fun to play i'm pretty sure this was where tomac he was able to wrap up the championship and then i don't even know if he raced the final round but he wrapped it up here and he had like a hurt knee or something and he was wearing that blue gear and it was cool for him to be able to do it in front of his hometown crowd basically i mean it wouldn't be i don't know if it's his, not really his hometown but you know what i mean he's from colorado so it's really cool to to see that but the track was pretty fun pretty easy i mean i don't know how many different lines you can take in this on this track because of how easy it was but i felt like they did a pretty good job and then we switch over to the final track which would be salt lake i think it's salt lake this track is pretty fun uh, a few different ways you can take it the inside ruts and berms were really fun to take and yeah i guess i just don't have much else to say scaling of the tracks were really fun most if not all the tracks are fun to play some more than others but fun to play and combine that with the small yes i know i'm trying to emphasize that small physics changes i do enjoy the game i know a lot of people won't or will criticize it and say i'm not buying it that's fine i i wouldn't even recommend you buy it if you have bought in supercross games in the past especially three four or five but honestly I will say that this one feels better than 4 and 5. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. How do you feel about the tracks? How do they do? But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.